you this morning. The Northern Lights are one of the many natural phenomena that make living up north so special. Meteorologist Trevor Robido spoke with an expert about why we're seeing more geomagnetic storms this year. The Northern Lights, a beautiful natural event that makes us turn to the sky in awe. Some may even call it the holy grail of sky watching, a truly fantastic spectacle that stems from the activity of the sun. There's a, a phenomena on the sun called a coronal mass ejection, and that's a really long term that we abbreviate to CME. And what that is, is a giant blob of the sun's atmosphere that gets expelled from the sun, and sometimes those come towards Earth. They create an interaction with the Earth's magnetic field, causing a geomagnetic storm. This energy gets deflected to the poles and gives us the beautiful dancing lights. The intensity of any one storm can be hard to predict, but numerical modeling and expert experience is fairly accurate. It's based on the orientation of the magnetic field. We don't really know how that field is oriented until it gets to a satellite that's about a million miles from Earth. And you can think of it as a buoy out in the ocean or out, out in the lake. Um, but that's when we get our first glimpse of the magnetic field. So our initial uh, estimates really uh, just lean on a lot of experience and uh, some instinct, I guess. We've had a lot more activity this year than normal due to the sun's natural solar cycle. So the sun goes through a roughly 11 year cycle and uh, we're pretty much, we think at the top of that cycle right now. And as you ramp up over those, um, you know, over that period uh, to the peak, the frequency and intensity of the events increases. And so that's where we're sitting right now. This is great for us because it means we get to see more Northern Lights than normal, but it's not so great for farmers who have new age equipment. Some farmers that use precise GPS tracking on their tractors or other equipment can experience difficulty working their gear after a geomagnetic storm. When the atmosphere is all, the ionosphere is all frothed up though, there are these gaps where there's uh, very few electrons and other places where there's more and that um, can refract the signal. So you get these reflections and things that are not normal and that throws off the precision and that's why you start getting errors. And in the worst cases, like we had in May, uh, the tractors, you know, the, the guidance systems become unusable. In Northern Michigan, Trevor Robido, Up North Live News.